Good morning, students. Welcome back to your English language class. The topic that we are going to discuss today is the sentence. Now, what is a sentence? A sentence is a group of words which makes a complete sense. Now, when I say this definition, it means a group of words. A group of words can be a group of nouns, pronouns, adjectives, adverbs. All these words can be there in a sentence. Okay. Now, then they need to be properly arranged. If they are not arranged, they won't carry any message, or we can't get the meaning from that sentence. So the second important thing is that it needs to be properly arranged. so that when it is written or spoken people can easily understand the meaning now what are the different types of sentence there are four different types of sentence that is declarative assertive declarative and assertive are counted together then we have interrogative sentence imperative sentence exclamatory sentence now these all types we are going to discuss so while talking about sentence always remember it is a group of words which makes a complete sense okay now we are going to see the different types the first type is declarative or assertive okay now declarative or assertive let's understand what is the meaning of declarative and what is the meaning of assertive Now, declarative simply stands for a statement that declares a fact, an argument, or a statement. Okay? Declarative. If we break this word, we will get declare. Now, what is declare? Where we declare a statement, a statement that gives us a fact, a statement, or an argument. That is known as a declarative statement. Now, what is assertive statement? Assertive sentences are those sentences which simply states something. Okay. Now, the examples are already written over here, and we are going to see that which one is declarative and which one is assertive. Okay. Now, tomorrow is a holiday. Now, I am declaring here. What am I declaring? That tomorrow is a holiday. This is the fact. That tomorrow will be a holiday. Not today, but tomorrow. Next one, Mahatma Gandhi was a great leader. This is also a fact, so it will be a declarative sentence. I live in India. I live in India. Now this is a statement. I live in India. This is also being declared. I study in class six. Again, declarative sentence. All these examples that are written over here. they all are declarative sentence now what could be the assertive sentence now when i say i have a phone which doesn't work i have a phone which doesn't work we play football in the evening i am going to the bakery this is the route to rachi now all these are assertive sentences declarative statement declarative sentences are those where we declare a statement a fact or an argument always keep in mind that what is declarative and what is assertive okay now we are going to see the other type that is interrogative sentence now the next type of sentence is interrogative sentence now what does the term interrogative stands for interrogative simply stands for that which asks you a question now interrogative sentence interrogative sentence means a sentence that asks a question now what are the things that we have to keep in mind that we have to remember while writing a sentence in interrogative form the most important thing that we have to take care of is the question mark whenever we write a interrogative sentence we have to remember that we end the sentence with the proper punctuation that is a question mark until and unless we put a question mark it won't be counted as a question although you have used the correct words but if you don't put the question the proper punctuation it will be taken as a wrong statement 
okay because people won't be able to identify with uh, without the punctuation whether you have written a statement whether you have written a question whether it's assertive declarative okay so a uh, interrogative sentence always ends with a question mark example how are you question mark what is your name what are you doing okay now in this statement you can see that we have given a question mark at the end of the sentence okay so always remember a question mark is always important interrogate now this term interrogate what is it interrogate means to ask to ask question people why do we use the term ask because we want our information okay information has to be taken out okay so the tone the tone is different when we say a simple statement and when we ask a question the tone of the two sentences are different now listen to these two sentences and then identify suppose i am saying a simple sentence my name is elvis strong this is a sentence just notice the tone what is your name now what is your name when i say you can easily identify that i am asking you a question now when i say my name is elvis strong now this sounds like a statement this sounds like an answer okay now when i ask a question what is your name then you know that a question is being asked now this is in verbal form this is being oral now when we are writing interrogative question interrogative sentence that time we have to be correct because we have to know that what are we writing so question mark is important in verbal we don't say question mark what is your name question mark okay but people understand it with the tone of saying the sentence okay but while in written form we have to use the proper punctuation okay now that is all for today in the next class we are going to discuss the other two types that is exclamatory and imperative sentences now if you have any doubts regarding these two types of sentence you can ask me on my whatsapp or we shall discuss that in our live class okay thank you